Hello, it's good to have you with us as we continue to go step by step through Mark's Gospel. In the last couple of episodes, we've been looking at some of the miracles that Jesus did. And they were miracles that blew my mind. Jesus and his disciples were caught in a massive storm on the lake. Jesus spoke and the storm stopped. There was a man possessed by many demons. No one could help him. But then Jesus turned up. What are we being told here? Jesus can do the impossible. Today, we're going to look at Mark chapter 5, verses 21 to 43. And we're going to look at two more incidents, two more miracles that Jesus performed that teach us the same thing. Jesus can do the impossible. If you want to follow along, there are links in the video description that will take you to an online Bible. And it should open to the passage we're looking at today. How does this section start? Well, again, Jesus crosses the Sea of Galilee in a boat. He lands, he gets out of the boat, and a huge crowd has gathered. In the crowd, there's a man called Jairus. He's one of the leaders of the synagogue. That's the place where people would go to learn about God. And we're told that his daughter, who's just 12 years old, is really sick and dying. You can imagine his desperation. He's a father, and his daughter is at death's door. And then here comes Jesus, the man who can heal people. He pleads, he begs for Jesus to come, and make her better. Jesus goes with him, and the crowd follows and presses around him. At this point, Mark introduces us to another person in the crowd. It's a woman, and like Jairus, she too is in a desperate place. Verses 25 and 26 tell us, And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors, and had spent all she had, yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. Now, we're not told a lot about her condition, but we are told it was bad. She tried to get help, but no one had been able to cure her. In fact, all they'd done was make it worse. Imagine her despair. Every time she got a new treatment, she believed it would be the one that will help. But then that hope was dashed time and time again. And then here is Jesus. She pushes her way through the crowd and touches his cloak. Why? Well, Mark tells us her thoughts. If I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. What happened? Was this another failed effort? Another hope dashed? No. What are we told? Immediately her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. Jesus does the impossible. After this, some people arrive from Jairus' house. They deliver the news he must have been dreading. Your daughter is dead, they said. Why bother the teacher anymore? Now, I want you to think for a moment. What are they implying with that statement? When the girl was alive, there was hope. Jesus might be able to do something. But now she's dead. There's no way he can fix this. We can understand that, can't we? If someone's alive and sick, we urge them to go to the doctor. There might be a cure, something that can be done. When they die, we know the doctors can't do anything anymore. Yet Jesus is not put off. Overhearing what they said, Jesus told him, don't be afraid, just believe. Together they keep going to Jairus' house. When they get there, everyone is mourning. They're crying and wailing loudly. Jesus questions them, but they laugh at him when he tells them there's hope. Jesus goes into the house and walks over to the girl. He took her by the hand and said to her, Talitha kum, which means, little girl, I say to you, get up. You can imagine the tension. Her parents are there. Some of Jesus' disciples were there. What would happen? Could Jesus really do anything? Well, Mark tells us. Immediately, the girl stood up and began to walk around. Again, Jesus does the impossible. She was dead, but now she's alive again. I want to end with this question. What picture do you have in your head when you think of Jesus? Do you see someone who's extraordinary? Do you see someone who can do the impossible? What do you think about Jesus? Is he someone who could make a difference in your life? Well, thanks for joining us. 
Can I encourage you, if you haven't already, have a read of the passage we've just looked at for yourself. What it tells us about Jesus is just amazing. Next week, there'll be another episode of Step by Step. If you want to be notified, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the notifications bell. Like our Facebook page, or you can also subscribe to our podcast on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Hopefully, see you next time.